Women may need to undergo a needle biopsy of their breast, either because they feel a change in the breast or because something abnormal is seen on their screening mammogram. Fortunately, the majority of all breast biopsies show benign findings, but many women may not know that the specific changes that are seen in the breast tissue from a benign biopsy can provide helpful information regarding a woman's risk of developing breast cancer in the future. And on some occasions, a needle biopsy can show indeterminate findings, in which case it might be recommended to surgically remove that area in order to get more tissue for the pathologist so that we can make a definitive diagnosis of the problem. Two specific findings on a breast biopsy that indicate a long-term increase in breast cancer risk are findings called either atypical hyperplasia or lobular carcinoma in situ. And although these names may sound very worrisome, these findings are not cancer. However, women who have these findings should be evaluated in a breast clinic where providers have specialized knowledge of how to evaluate and manage women with these biopsy findings. At the Mayo Clinic, our breast clinic providers have the expertise to evaluate women with atypical hyperplasia or lobular carcinoma in situ, as well as women with other benign breast biopsy findings, so that we can provide an individualized evaluation and assessment of breast cancer risk. This usually will include careful evaluation of mammograms and other breast imaging by a radiologist who specializes in breast imaging, review of biopsy slides by a breast pathologist, considering a woman's family history of cancer and other factors that may be of concern to her. Then, based on this individualized assessment, a personal management plan will be developed, which may include more breast imaging, surgically removing the area that was biopsied, genetic testing, medications that can help to reduce breast cancer risk, or simply reassurance. We have world experts in understanding breast biopsy findings and other factors that affect a woman's risk of future breast cancer. Our goal is to help each woman understand her degree of risk and the best approaches to manage it.